Uh, let me first address the Keanu Pinder situation. We have a qualified medical staff. I have my players' well-being at the highest of my list. When we have uneducated comments being made about something that happened, I would question whether those people really have the players' well-being at the forefront of their mind. Very disappointing. We have professionals to handle situations. Very disappointing. Where did it go wrong tonight? Jack Jumpers played very well. Congratulations to them. The last two games, they were the better team. It's very important to have a nice presence defensively, which we did for a good portion of the series, but tonight we just didn't have the um, same collective grit that we've had for a good portion of the year. Uh, and then they did a great job of executing and moving the ball. Uh, they made shots, uh, and unfortunately we didn't. Yeah. Uh, no, and, and uh, what I will say about the team and the franchise, the franchise has gone through a lot of change over the last three or four years. We have players that have experienced this for the first time. So as the franchise evolves, as I evolve as a coach, as, as our players get these opportunities. We're only going to grow from this. So we're all disappointed, absolutely, because we had a great opportunity to get to a championship series. But all said and done, we can't lose the progress that's been made throughout everything and then the growth of our guys off the floor. I couldn't be prouder of this team. It was a fun group to coach. I understand fun didn't help us tonight. But when you can walk into work every day and really enjoy the guys that you're around, that's special. So, bloody hard to get this game, let alone get to the next one. How disappointing is it when you do all the work and you fall this close? Yeah, look, in, in my experiences in playoff basketball, and I was a part of a team that, like, I would say choked a championship away to the Sydney Kings. It's not tonight's game. It was game two where we had a great opportunity to go down there and win the game. It's easy to reflect on tonight's game and mull through all of that, but when you have an opportunity to wrap up a series, you need to wrap a series up. And we missed a little bit of an opportunity down there, especially with the way we started the game the other night. So what I, uh, we've certainly seen great growth from Alex throughout the season. I would say his, his intensity to compete in this playoff series was a little different to what we saw in the regular season. So when people ask about his competitive nature, I think this playoff series really shows how he's growing and he's going in the right direction as far as that can, is concerned. What happens for him in June? I don't know, but he's had great improvement for us. And he's a terrific kid. He, 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 like, we got spoiled with the next star. Had a quiet word in Marcus Lee's ear after the game. Are you prepared to share what you said to him? No. Yep. It was a distraction. Absolutely. How often were you dealing with 
What's that? How often were you dealing with going to plane? Obviously, a lot. Yes, so we did. Was it something that was thrown across your desk a lot in the past 24 hours? Yeah. But it's not the first time we've had to address something, you know? Is that a league thing or a media thing? I think everyone plays a part in it. Is the league coming into your well, yeah, we had to answer some questions and Keanu had to go and get concussion protocol. And as I said, like we had a, we have a professional and very good medical staff. That would obviously impact on his preparation and being able to be focused on the game. I would think so. How are you feeling at the moment? Oh. Disappointing. I mean, you mentioned it. It's uh, put a lot of work in, and not just us here, but people that you don't see put a lot of work in to try to get you where you uh, where you want to go. And um, we're just one team of nine that will eventually not get it done this year. So it it hurts. That's the uh, the overall goal is always to win a championship, and um, obviously that's not to be this year. Oh, look, I think momentum's a funny thing. I think everyone pretty much had three weeks off. Um, I, I wouldn't say that played a part. I thought we played well game one. I thought we started game two well. I, I, yeah, momentum's a funny thing, and I wouldn't uh, wouldn't put it down to that, put it that way. Anyone on Zoom? Yeah, Jason. Um, you the plug and jump in quickly. John, it feels like a lot of this season You've been frustrated by having to defend the club for different reasons, and in the last couple of days, it was it was like that again with this situation with Keanu. Do you do you feel like, for whatever reason, your club seems to be getting targeted? That's not a question for me to answer. Okay, well, totally different. No, the chemistry of this playing group from the start of the season to the way you ended it. Greatly improved, and by the way, I know it's a tough way to end, but yep. the chemistry within this playing group was, was great to watch, and it looked like they had a genuine care and enjoyment to play together. Would you be hoping to keep the majority of this group together? Yeah, when, when you're trying to construct a team, there has to be a connectivity with the guys, and we, we certainly had that this year, but uh, in any professional sporting uh, realm, like teams change. Uh, we weren't good enough to get it done. So, uh, you know, it, it, there's going to be change. But I, I think, as I, t I talked about earlier on, I, I think the franchise is going in the right direction and we've made good strides uh, over the last couple of years. The time for reflecting is probably down the track a little bit. But two years into your coaching career at this level, how much do you feel like you've improved and how much are you enjoying being in the NFL? Oh, look, I, I thoroughly enjoy the role. Like, I get out of bed and I love what I get to do. So that that's not the issue. Or, you know, like, I'm lucky to go and do something that I love every morning I wake up. When I go to bed tonight, I'll be thinking about basketball. I wasn't good enough. So I'll reflect about what I did good, but I got to get better if we want to get to the championship level. Jesse, are you hoping to watch another boat team win a championship? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll be there. Um, yeah, hopefully they can. Um, yeah. No, like I, I would say since I've been here, it's always been a, a mutual situation and 
Uh, I'd have to get one of my ace guru assistants to break down the analytics, but I think uh, been his most productive year in the last five or six seasons. Um, I'll let him speak on it, but I think uh, the nature of our group brought an, a, a nice energy to himself. Um, but like, he's phenomenal around our guys. Um, his ability to be like a chameleon and just bond with different kinds of guys is, is truly like a skill that will serve him well in life. Um, but uh, to answer you, your question though, like uh, mutual decision and um, yeah. Saying that, obviously you're pretty pumped with him, he's had him so he's Correct. Like, you'd like to see him go on if that eventuates. Well, as I said, like when it's mutual, like he has to be comfortable with that. Like. Um, we haven't had that conversation because we were striving to get number 11 for the club, you know, so. But he had a ripper season. Jess, just report on your next step, what do you do? What's your planning for now? I know it's very quick after the game. Yeah, look, I'll just let that simmer. Um, it's not to, I appreciate the question. It's probably another time or place. It's, it's not about me, it's about, you know, the organization and, as Jay said, striving for that 11, so it'll all come in good time. Yep, no worries. Thanks. 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 Thanks.